Hey channel! Uh, we are back. Uh, I just flew into Innsbruck with uh, the NGX and I was just in awe. That was amazing. So I thought to myself, you know what? This deserves a closer look. So that is what this is. This is a closer look. I have a funny story, I just spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out why I couldn't get this started and trying to Google tutorials and everything and it turned out I didn't have fuel in the in the flipping chopper, so that's why I couldn't get it started. <laughs> Anyways, I, I just wanted to take a closer look at this because this is um, absolutely incredible. I think uh, there is no other way to describe it. And I thought, what better way to take a look at it than in a chopper? Chopper. I heard there's some heliports here too. I just don't know where they are. But just the detail on this is stunning. Like up close and coming into it, I, all of it is really, really stunning. But look at this parking lot, you guys. It's that's something. I think if you have the old Aerosoft version of this. Um, which I've seen on stream and stuff, and then this is a massive upgrade. A massive upgrade. That was way old, um, sort of technically. Just look at the detail on this, like just on everything. Little barns, ground textures. Houses, power lines. Look at all the cars parked here, and also performance pretty dang good. I'm getting 30 frames per second, and I'm locked at uh, 30 hertz right now. Really is the best way for me to fly, by the way. I I've been doing quite a few flights at like sort of 60 hertz lately too, just because I just uh, I don't I forget to change basically. <laughs> But if I change to 30 hertz before I fly, I get such a smoother experience and better performance with scene reloading and all that sort of stuff. I mean, granted, sometimes it's nice to have even more frames, but it's better to have that sort of even, even stream going in that's uh, in sync with your monitor, so you don't get these micro stutters. And what's happening when you just get like 20 frames? Or even sort of 35 frames or something like that. It it has to divide those frames among the 30 cycles that the monitor has, or the 60 cycles that the monitor has. And that, as you as you well know, if you try and divide 25 by 30, you end up with a with a small difference. And that difference is what is a micro stutter. So if you set it to 30 hertz, if you can't do 60 hertz. 60 frames per second, you have to set it to something else. And um, if you set it to 30 frames per second, it seems to work well. At least for me. But look at this, guys. It's pretty, pretty, pretty great. Oi. Shit. Man. Okay. Oops. That is that was uh, that's how you auto rotate. <laughs> I pushed it too hard. I forget about this. Uh, this guy is a kind of um, kind of difficult to fly sometimes. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. Um. Just reload. Okay, I'll go with this crazy livery.
actually pretty happy with my auto rotation landing there though. That was pretty nice. I mean it was hard, but come on. It's auto rated. Oh auto rotated. Okay, off we go. What happens is this red band here, I can't go in the red band here and I was getting too excited. And that gave us trouble. Or me, rather. I'm realizing though how huge the scenery is. It's it's a massive scenery area. You can see it flying in, and you really you get to see the the scenery area like way before you even start. Um, oh, you're flying over the scenery, the, almost the whole descent into the airport. Very very cool. Look at this, it looks really good. It looks really, really good. Really, really good job on the on the scenery itself. Great photo reel for the mountains and and all of this. It's really, really something. And look at all the sort of points of interest. I thought that was really cool. Um, I was noticing all the different buildings clock towers and and so on and so forth I wish I knew where the hospitals or the heliports were that would be really really fun to check out but I just don't know where they are look they even have trains I think they even have animated trains, I just don't know exactly where they are. Look at all those palaces and churches or whatever. Oh, there they are! There's the animated train. Okay, so there's a cool ski jump, but let's check out the animated train. And <laughs> there we go! It's a little Swiss train. Look at that. How I want I've been like wanting trains forever. Like that's I I really think like the AI ships package is uh, I mentioned it so many times before, but it really is amazing. It's it it makes the sim into a, a whole different thing. So what I would really, really like is someone to make like an AI trains package. Uh, it couldn't be so hard, you know, to get the the vector data for the actual tracks and then some um, animate some traffic to go along it that would be awesome look at the tunnels here huh so here's the ski jump ski jumping is huge in Norway too that's a pretty cool pretty nice ski jump they have here in Innsbruck. Oh, 
one other thing I thought was just so pretty flying in was the look at that oh so great to see power lines I really have to say so great to see power lines in FSX are prepared well it's it makes a big difference when you actually see the lines itself like this look at it this is a fantastic scenery you guys uh, I mean the hype is real this is this is something look at that bridge just look at the quality of that bridge what I was look at, <laughs> look at all the power lines there are so many of them what I was gonna go look at was the um, this road bridge up here I think it's up here anyway I saw it flying in and I thought that was really really cool but it might not have been here now there it is There it is. Look at that. Look how nicely modeled that was. How cool that was. Now, this is really. I am really impressed with what they made here. Super impressed. It's too bad there's no traffic on this road. That. It's too bad. feel compelled to check that I haven't for some reason turned off traffic I don't it, there sh I sh yeah I do I do have traffic on look at the roads here though this is just seems like such a beautiful part of the world very very impressed with how good this looks just look at how beautiful that is. This is really, really stunning. Look here, they put the, the road under the ground. I say as if that's brand new, but I've never seen them sort of just like cover it like that. Usually they, when they make a tunnel, they, there's a reason for it. Seems like here they maybe they do it for aesthetic reasons. Man, this is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Wow. I wonder if that is Zugspitze up there, the tallest mountain. It certainly looks sort of looks like a Zugspitze. It looks very looks very tall. Zugspitze should be the highest mountain in Germany. I think 
think it's also the border of Austria. Yeah, okay, let's check it out. Let's do the climb. That's some stunning scenery though. This is really making me... Um, I've never sort of been too crazy about an Orbex doing an Alps region, but I think that's what I want. <laughs> this is really, really pretty. Really amazing. I am all about the Orbex Alps right now. Give me Hawaii and then give me the Alps. For those of you who don't know the Hawaii is rumors, the Hawaii rumors is that they're basically only going to do the Hawaiian Islands all photoreal uh, with custom matched, uh, like even higher quality level, like basically like Innsbruck, uh, the whole thing. All the islands, all the houses in the right place, all the hotels, custom modeled, everything. So since it's such a small area comparatively to what they usually do for the regions, they're just upping it by making all of it photoreal. That's um, really interesting. I find that really interesting anyway. Well, that's what I get for looking at my phone. It's, uh, it's kind of hard to climb this. Uh, is tall. So I'm planning to go to the top of this and then land and then uh, we're gonna check out the full train pack and find out where the first of all where I am and second of all where all the heliports and stuff is and then maybe go visit a heliport too before I call it a day. I just really wanted to, to see more of the scenery because I was, I don't know, it's quite sort of awestruck. Flying in here, it really, really impressed me. Whoa, come on, Schuchspitze. I have a feeling this is Schuchspitze. Okay.
Yeah, not quite at the tippy top, but you know, close enough. Wow. Anyway, we're looking straight in at Innsbruck, right above that fancy bridge. So let's see if we can uh, see what kind of map they have out for this. Yeah, so here is the map, sort of. Uh, okay, so here is the map. Okay, so Sugspitz is all the way over there. That's not where we are. There's that fancy bridge. Maybe we're on top of this guy or something. So, Hat Tux Heliport, L O J T. That is probably within reach so it's just going this way basically Let's see so we're here looking that way it's going up one of these valleys and so it's going up one of those valleys so that's that yeah see it's going up this valley that's sort of bordered by the terrain. We can follow that. Okay, let's do that. So see, it's this valley that's bordered by the terrain. Whoa. Really, really good. Very good photo reel. I have to say, I'm really impressed by the photo reel and the autogen mapping that's gone on top of it. Look at that, that looks just so good. And the little switch back on the mountain, everything. Very cool. Okay, so let's see if we can actually figure out where to go. Uh, so we're going up here somewhere. So it's probably up here ish, somewhere ish. This totally looks like Heidi, you know, the children's show. I don't know if you watched that, but I did when I was a child. I think she was Swiss though, but whatever.
quite a fun chopper, by the way, the Milvis MD MD530. It's a uh, fairly nicely modeled and fairly fun to fly, but not too difficult. I don't know. I never liked really choppers and prepared to be honest. I found them a little wanting. I don't know exactly what I mean by that, but they just never felt right in the same way that general aviation or um, airliners do. Okay, so we are Is there somewhere here, right? Look at that though, that looks really, really good. Pretty cool how it looks so different on one side from the other. Here it's really rounded and on the other side it was more pointy. Which I believe is the technical term. So you can see how nicely it blends in with the open LC. It looks really, really good. It's very hard to see exactly where it happens. You can see it, but they've done a good job. little mountain lake okay so this is the end of the area there is something down there though Not a heliport.
so part of me really believes it's back here then. As you can see in that uh, image that I just found on their website that um, looked like it was definitely in some sort of valley. And that could make sense that it's in the valley at the back of this mountain. because the coverage area keeps going down on this side I bet you we are going to find it uh, back down in here And if I don't, I think I'm going to end the stream here anyway, or the recording here anyway. Aha, uh -huh. there it is. I see it. 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 It was there. So, dropping speed, and we're going to start dropping altitude. So trying to maintain some sort of Hoverish kind of type of position. Let's see if we can land this right on the money. Cool, you see the riverbed next to the road here, or is it a r it's a road? Okay, I'll take that back. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Overcorrecting. Okay. There we go. We are in uh, Alpin 5 LO WJS. Which I guess is uh, just on the other side of those mountains. Uh, it seems like it's still Austria looking at the, the flag sort of thing on the other chopper that's here. Which is fine. Anyway, uh, I have to say, Innsbruck, amazing. Look, there's even cows back there. No, they're not animated, but they look good. I mean, just the, the autogen, the little trains, the plants, everything. I'm very, very, very impressed. Very, very cool. I fully recommend this to uh, any and everyone this is uh, this was uh, this is a very nice scenery I think especially actually if you like to fly the approach because that approach was spectacular but even if you're like a helicopter jockey or something else 
anyways thanks for watching leave a like leave a subscribe um, you know let me know what you thought and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye bye